Hey what's up guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a good old fashioned metal collection video, so I hope you're excited about that. I'm going to show you all my tour slash concert and festival t-shirts and I actually did something like this about four or five years ago. But if I remember correctly, it was just a compilation of me wearing the t-shirts with some background music. And I never actually sat down and showed them to you guys and talked a bit about them. So I really wanted to do that today. Some of them you might have seen in my previous videos already. But I also have some newer ones that I never shared before. I was actually inspired to do this again by Nadine. She's also a metal fan and girl from the Netherlands, just like I am. She recently started out her YouTube channel and she put out two videos already. Her content is kind of similar to some of the videos that I have made in the past, so I'm quite sure that you will enjoy watching them as well. I will put the link to her channel down below, so go check her out. And yeah, I just thought I'd mention this because I think you will like it, but also I'm going to do kind of the same thing. So yeah, I have a couple of stacks with t-shirts in front of me. I sorted them out by gear. So let's just start out with the first one. And the first year that I have toured t-shirts from is 2014 before I never really bought tour shirts. I just used to get some album artwork or just a design that I like but I also really enjoy getting tour shirts or festival t-shirts as a reminder. So let's just start off with the first t-shirts that I have in front of me here. This is Metallica with the Four Horsemen artwork. Quite a cool shirt even though I never really wear it with of course the tour dates on the back. I saw them live at Pink Pop in Landgraaf. So my younger sister and I were both really big fans of Metallica and we never saw them before. This was the first time that we were going to see them live at Pink Pop. All day it was so hot but we were waiting in the front for hours already because we just really wanted to experience the whole thing uh, from up front. So yeah, that was just a choice we made. We were just waiting there for hours and also enjoying the other bands that were playing. I think it was Green Day and Mastodon, maybe Avenged Sevenfold as well. I don't remember exactly. But when it was finally time for Metallica, it started storming really bad. It was just really questionable if the concert was going to happen or it really looked like it was going to get cancelled because the storm was really that bad. So we were really scared about that but luckily after a while the storm blew over. Then Metallica finally entered the stage and they started playing and it was so cool. Actually the storm added up to the experience a bit. Like, if it was cancelled, then I wouldn't have felt that way, but because the concert did happen, it was just so cool because they started playing and I remember them playing Ride the Lightning while there was literal lightning. In the end, it was such an amazing experience, but it also was kind of scary. And something else that's really cool is that I caught a guitar pick. I framed it and it is somewhere around here but I'm changing up my room so I currently don't know where it is so I can show you. So enough of this rambling, let's move on to the next t-shirt. By the way I don't have huge stories like this of every t-shirt but if I have something fun that I can talk about then I will. The next one is Ghost. I really like the colors of this and I saw them three times from this particular tour. The first one was Fortarock in Nijmegen. The lineup of that festival was so good that day. I remember seeing Ghost, Slayer and Iron Maiden. So that was so cool. For the second time on this tour it was also at Pink Pop Landgraaf the same day as I saw Metallica. And I also saw them at the Grass Pop Metal Meeting in Dessel, Belgium. So yeah, I was really lucky to see Ghost 
three times from that tour because they were playing all the festivals that I was going to. Next up is 2015 and let's start off with another ghost t-shirt. This one has the Meliora artwork and although I really like it, I never really wear this t-shirt. I don't know, I think it's just the this color that I don't really like on me. Back to the Future European Tour 2015 and I saw them in Utrecht. Next up is Lich King. I really like black t-shirts with a white print. This is the Europe Gone Dead Tour. I saw them in my hometown Tilburg in Little Devil. And honestly, I don't know a lot of their music, but I did really enjoy the performance. I mainly know them because of their funny songs like Black Metal Sucks. Next t-shirt is Anthrax. I really like this design, but the only thing that I kind of regret is not getting like a proper 2015 tour t-shirt. Because this one says Tour 1986, spreading the disease. And on the back, it does have the 2015 tour dates. But I don't know, I think it's just kind of sad that the front doesn't say 2015. But even though, I just really like the design. And I saw them in Tilburg in 013. The same night, I saw Slayer. And this one just says Slayer Nation with a skull on the front. And Slayer World Tour 2015 on the back. It doesn't say the dates. But yeah, I really like this t-shirt and I still wear it sometimes. I'm quite sure that I made a vlog that day. So I will link it in the information thing over here. That night I also caught a guitar pick of Carrie King. I almost caught an Anthrax pick as well. But it literally bounced on my arm into the arms of the guy who was standing like this next to me so the pick landed like here so of course I'm not just going to grab it from his arms but yeah I did get a slayer pick I don't really know how this happened but from 2016 I only have one t-shirt it's this Iron Maiden the Book of Souls t-shirt and it says the Book of Souls Tour 2016 on the back. I really like this back print as well. And where did I see them? I don't exactly remember where I bought this t-shirt because I saw them during this tour in the Netherlands and Belgium as well. Okay, so I just looked up the vlog that I made that day. And it was in Gelgedom, Arnhem. Oh, and in Belgium it was 2017. So... That explains. Next up is another Anthrax t-shirt. This is Among the Kings. From the For All Kings World Tour 2017. And I saw them live in Utrecht. And I remember that this was such a special concert. Because for the anniversary of the Among the Living album. They played the entire album front to back. So that was so cool. And it was also for the release of the For All Kings album. So that was so cool and I just really wanted to get a t-shirt as a reminder. Even though purple isn't really my color. I do really love yellow. Next up is also a purple and yellow t-shirt. And this is Havoc with the Conformicide artwork. You might remember some of the t-shirts that I'm showing right now because I used to make a lot of concert vlogs back then. So you might remember me actually going to the concert. So yeah, Conformicide World Tour 2017. I saw them live in Tilburg 013, 013 uh, however you want to call it. Then the next one is a festival t-shirt. This is from Stonehenge, which is a festival in the Netherlands. And on the back it has all the logos of the bands that played there. And my boyfriend's band Inferum actually played there. I'm wearing their shirt right now as well. And yeah, 
it was really cool. I went with them, also made a vlog. I made a lot of vlogs during that time. The last t-shirt of 2017 is this Wacken t-shirt. As you can tell, it's an artist t-shirt. And I got it because I went with my boyfriend's band. They were playing at the Wacken Metal Battle in 2017. And after we returned the towels, everyone got an artist t-shirt. I think it's really cool to own this one, but I'm not wearing it. I have never worn it because I think it's just so weird to wear an artist t-shirt of a festival that you didn't play. On the back it says the bands were good, but the crew was brilliant. So yeah, I do really like to have this shirt in my collection just to remind me of how cool it was to experience this. But I would have preferred to get a crew shirt because I would have actually worn that. Then it's time for 2018 already. The next one is a tour shirt of a concert that I didn't actually went to myself. This is Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast tour. And my sister and my boyfriend got it for me as a birthday gift. And I really like this artwork, especially since it has the seventh song of a seventh song, Eddie. Next up is Dr. Living Dead with the Cosmic Conqueror artwork, Infiltrating Europe. And I saw them in Eindhoven and Rotterdam. And if you're a follower of my channel, then you might know that I joined them on stage in Dynamo Eindhoven and played one of their songs with them. So again, I will link it in the information thing over here so you can check it out. Then the last 2018 t-shirt is Metal Days. Honestly, I think this design is so ugly. I really don't like the colors and the Viking. Thing going on here but I chose for this one because I wanted a t-shirt that had the lineup on the back because we played on this festival it was my first really big festival that I ever played on we played on the main stage and it was so amazing again I will link my vlog in the information thing so yeah it says sister suffocation over here so as you can imagine I just really wanted to get this because it's the first time that I played on a big festival like this. And the next t-shirt is kind of similar because this is a festival t-shirt of Metal on the Hill. Again, not my style, but it's really fitting for the festival. Metal on the Hill 2019. Again, with the lineup on the back. And here we are. And then I have only one t-shirt left, which is of this year, before we were in quarantine and we were still allowed to go out. This is the Bass Strikes Back 2020 tour of Testament, Exodus and Death Angel. I do really like the colors of this design, but the rest of the design not so much, honestly. But I just really wanted to get this t-shirt because I thought it was kind of special to have, yeah, just a t-shirt of these bands together. And I saw this tour in Tivoli in Utrecht, the Netherlands. So these are all the tour and festival t-shirts that I have in my collection. I have a lot of other band t-shirts as well, but that's just mainly album artworks. Let me know in the comments down below if you attended any of these tours as well, because it would be kind of funny to find out. Feel free to leave a comment down below about your collection or maybe your experience that you had at a festival or a concert. Because I would really like to read your stories and maybe we can chat a bit about it. Or you guys can chat with each other. Uh, whatever you want. So that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Because that would help me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!